All right, guys, waiting 30 seconds. It is 1134. This earthquake took place nine minutes ago. It is a prelim, okay? It will go down. You watch. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> it's just me. Hi, Carlos. All right, let me show you. USGS. I have not refreshed it yet. All right. EMSC has already downgraded it. EMSC has, eh, sorry, USGS has it at a prelim. All right. Prelim. That means it will change. It probably already has. I just wanted you to see this before I refreshed. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to refresh it now. Refresh. What do you know? They kept it at a 6.3, guys. <clears throat> All right. They've kept it at a 6.3. Hang on one second, and I'll tell you where it's at. Uh, they've got it Mona Passage, 49 miles north northwest of Isabella, Puerto Rico. It's got it at 6 miles in depth. Now, let me go to EMSC because they already knocked it down. I wish I had kept it up, but I wanted to go see. EMSC's now got it at a 5.8, okay? I got a copy of the original tweet and the first post. I will do that with this one also. All right. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, they've got it, uh, Puerto Rico region, at 2 kilometers, so 1.2 miles in depth. Seriously? They've got it 55 miles north of San Antonio, Puerto Rico. All right. Let's go and see. USGS was the only one to report this at first on the web page. So let me go make sure they have not downgraded it again. Let me refresh it. And the answer is no. They still got it at 6.2. Now, 6.3. I am going to go to the web page here. Hang on one second. Oh, I wish to God I could enlarge that, but I can't. All right. But I am going to see if you guys can see this. All right. 6.3 Puerto Rico region. I'm going to check and see what the nearest volcano is for you. Hang on tight. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Carlos. Okay. All right. Closest volcano is over 454 kilometers, so that is fine. There is no, repeat, no tsunami warning for this earthquake. So let me go ahead and put this into the notes here. That was the first thing that came across. The first thing. I got a tsunami tweet. It says, no tsunami threat of PREV from nearby magnitude 6.3 earthquake. All right. That link is in there also. Guys, I suggest you keep that link. All right. Save that link onto your web page. I'm going to go see if anybody else has reported this 6.3. Right now, GFC has got it at... Seriously. GFC's got it at a 6.1. Let me pull up GFC. That is the Germany Earthquake Center. All right. U.S. Let me see if I can enlarge this for you. But it's an automatic. It was done by a machine. It was not done by people. All right. Can you see that okay? Can you see GFC's page? Hello, Don. GFC's got it at a 6.1, Mona Passage. They've got it at 6 kilometers. Uh, uh, yeah, that's 10 kilometers. That is 6.2 miles in depth. All right. Right now, that is the only three earthquake centers with this earthquake. All right. So hang on. Let me, co whoop. Mm. Let me copy that and put it in the post with it just for you guys. I know that. USGS and EMSC right now are the only ones with it, but EMSC downgraded it, like I said. GFC, Earthquake Center, Germany, paste. Hang on, guys. 
like I said, this earthquake just took place. Let me go ahead and copy this. I'm still waiting for USGS to downgrade this. <clears throat> My fingers are not working, guys. And I copy and paste. Now, GFC is done computer generated. It was not done by a person. Keep that in mind, okay? Where is Mona Passage? It's Puerto Rico region. I'm going to get it here in a second. Hang on one second, okay? I'm just trying to copy all links. All right. USGS said there was a 6.3 Mona Passage, 49 miles west, north northwest of Isabella. That is Puerto Rico, okay? I'm pulling it up on the map for you. So you can see. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work or not, guys. But we're going to try. Pull it up, enlarge it as big as I can. Let's see what we got here. I just got another tweet from the tsunami people saying there is no threat. And I'll put that in there, too. That's the second one we've gotten. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's another earthquake. Just got a report of a tsunami, uh, no tsunami threat for a 5.1. So hang on one second. Let me enlarge this map and give you this one. I'll wait for that to come through. We may be dealing with two earthquakes here. We'll see. All right, there's the map. I'm gonna pull it in as close as I can. Well, I don't know. Puerto Rico is the island under the big round circle. This is Puerto Rico. All right. All right. That's what I was waiting on. Uh, USGS just downgraded that. Hang on. I knew they would. Preliminary now. Like I said, they don't. They didn't leave it, and I told you they wouldn't. So let me put that on the bottom here. And this. They downgraded it to, come on, post. Okay, preliminary, 6.0. Let's see if they have downgraded it on their page yet. Let's refresh. And there was a 5.1, okay? 5.1, Mona Passage just occurred. It's on the USGS page. USGS did downgrade that 6.3. It is now a 6.0. Mona Passage. They've got that at San Antonio, Puerto Rico. They even changed the location. All right. So let me copy that one. All these links will be in the description box. Hopefully there's enough room. Paste. And let me get to the 5.1. USGS downgrade. All right. Going to call that one quits. Let me go to the 5.1, guys. Let me get the tsunami warning threat for the 5.1. Okay, 5.1 earthquake occurred, magnitude. No tsunami threat for this earthquake. Good to know. Okay, now we're going to post that in there. That's a heck of a difference, guys. I'm sorry. That is a heck of a difference. 6.3. Downgraded to a 6.0. That extra three magnitude can still cause a lot of damage, okay? Let me go here to USGS. A National Tsunami Warning System. Uh, put that in there. I've got two tsunami systems, please. U.S. Tsunami Warning System. Please copy both links and keep it with you. All right. All right. Those are both copied. All right. Now let's go see about the 5.1. Who all's got that one? Let me go to USGS here. Refresh. There we go. 
Okay, USGS says there was an aftershock of a 5.1. They've got it. It is a Bella. That's where the first one was. They had it. Uh, Puerto Rico region, Mona Passage at six miles in depth. All right. Pretty sure this is an aftershock. Let me go see. Uh, let's go here to the aftershock. And let's go here. And 5.1 information. Right now, EMSC has not got this up on their page. It is only a USGS post. Really, seriously. It's just on the USGS. It's the same distance away from the volcano. All right, so I'm going to pull the map up so you can see both earthquakes. All right, you'll see two round circles on there, guys. Do you see the one I'm looking at now? The smallest one is the 5.1. The one next to it is the 6.0 now. They had it at a 6.3. That's why I showed it to you from the very start of this video. All right, so they got a 6.3 <clears throat> downgraded to a 6.0. Uh, Mona Passage, Puerto Rico region. They have also have an aftershock of a 5.1. And they've got that at 63 kilometers. Let me go to the web page. They break it down into miles. Uh, 39 miles north of Isabel, Puerto Rico. Mona Passage at 6 miles in depth. Right now we got it on USGS. There's the second one. Let me pull up the first one. There is the first one. The first one they've got at San Antonio, Puerto Rico. All right, 6.0 miles in depth now. It was a 6.2. And this is Mona Passage. Let me go to EMSC and show you that one. They downgraded the 6.3 to a 5.8. Yeah, well, maybe they upgraded it. Let's see. Refresh all. Yep, they did, and they have a tsunami thing there now. But a U.S. tsunami warning system said there was. Well, let's go see on their tsunami. Hang on, guys. Let me go check that on EMSC. EMSC said the 5.1, no tsunami threat. USGS has got that earthquake, uh, the first one, the 6.0, that was downgraded to a 6.3. All right, let me pull that information up. Uh, it says there is no tsunami threat for this earthquake. Uh, let me get to where they say how big the earthquake was. Do, 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 do. Preliminary, the following is preliminary. Uh, let's see if we can enlarge this. Okay, guys, can you, this is on the... Uh, tsunami warning system. Do you see a 6.3? I see a 6.3. They've got that on the U.S. tsunami warning system. Let me copy that one. That is NOAA. Copy. You'll be able to go check for yourselves, guys. There is no tsunami threat for these earthquakes. All right. None. Let me go ahead and push this in there. Hang on, guys. I got to find out where I can post this. I'm trying to do it right after the USGS. Okay. US Tsunami Warning System. That link will be there. You can check it out for yourselves. All right, let me go back and post this. No tsunami warning for either the 5.1 or the 6.0, which was a 6.3, is which the uh, um, U.S. tsunami warning system got it at. Let me refresh. All right, this will be the last time I do this. No tsunami warning for each earth, each of these earthquakes. All right, USGS had this at a 6.3. U.S. Tsunami Warning System has it at a 6.3. Uh, 
Uh, right now, USGS downgraded it to a 6.0. They've got it Mona Passage, uh, 39 miles north, northwest of San Antonio, Puerto Rico. All right. Let me go to Ian and get that 5.1 for you. USGS says there was a 5.1. No tsunami warning for that earthquake either. Mona Passage. They've got it 39 miles north of Isabel, Puerto Rico at 6.2 miles in depth. All right. <coughs> Let's go to EMSC. EMSC had this earthquake at a 6.3, downgraded it to a 5.8, and upgraded it to a 6.0. They have it in blue. Uh, that means there was a tsunami threat, but there is no tsunami threat. They've got it uh, 6.0 Puerto Rico region. They've got it 45 miles north of San Antonio, Puerto Rico. All right. Let's see if they've got the 5.1 up there yet. Oh. Guys, they do not have the 5.1 up there. The only ones that has that 5.1 right at this time would be USGS. And I'm going to go to this earthquake center and shall see earthquakes. 5.1. The only one that's got the aftershock would be, oh God, I wish you guys could see this. Let me enlarge this. I don't know. You can't see it. Uh, can't see it. Dang it. I can't enlarge it. But you saw it on their web page. All right, so that's what we have. Two earthquakes. One started as a 6.3 prelim, according to USGS. And they downgraded that to a 6.0. They have it at San Antonio, Puerto Rico region at 6.2 miles in depth. Mona Passage. Uh, then they said there was a 5.1. Um, which... USGS is the only earthquake center at this time that has that. Uh, they've got that Mona Passage, Isabella, Puerto Rico at six miles in depth. There is no tsunami warning for that one either. All right, guys, give me a few minutes. I got to copy all these links and put it in the post. I'm going to end this broadcast now. Let's see who is here. All right, Tony, hi. You're more than welcome. Kevin, you're welcome. Grandma D, hi, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> Let me get my new glasses. Dee -dee. Chung. <clears throat> uh, Tony, Grandma D. God, I got some new ones in here. No tsunami warning for this one. Is that B-I-A-N-C-A, -B -A Jones? No, ma'am. No, sir. No, there is no tsunami warning. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh... I can't read this. Uh, A L T Y R I A. Puerto Rico is swarming. Yes, it is swarming. They've had a few today, yesterday and today. Uh, Tony Carlos Don, Missy Moonwillow. Hi, All, everybody that's new. Everyone that is new to this channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the thumbs up. Like I said, there is no tsunami warning, okay? None. Yes, that is a good thing. So, um, all I can say is give me a few minutes to put all these links into the web uh, description box. It'll take a few minutes for this to downgrade. You guys, two thumbs up. Sending you guys much love. Be safe. Working on the evening report. Not that many. Can you see? That's all there is for the evening report. Well, maybe there will be a few more now, but go ahead and let me get it. Sending much love to you guys. Be safe. God bless each and every one. I'm ending this now. Have a great one, guys.